Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. Recently, there has been a significant increase in tensions regarding Iraq's monetary reforms, largely due to opposition from various militant groups who are resistant to change. These factions, having long relied on the country's unstable financial system for their income, are now facing the threat of losing their cash cow. The reform initiatives, spearheaded by Iraqi Prime Minister Sudani, aim to establish a new exchange rate and improve purchasing power, which would ultimately undermine the corrupt practices that have enabled these groups to steal from the country's finances for years. The recent surge in violence and resistance reflects the desperation of these bad actors who are scrambling to maintain their illicit sources of revenue. In the broader financial landscape, there have been significant developments affecting Iraq's economic stability. For instance, the US Federal Reserve has adopted a new strategy that could potentially impact Iraq's financial situation. There are concerns that the dollar might rise to unprecedented levels which could, in turn, threaten the stability of the Iraqi dinar. This adds an additional layer of complexity to the ongoing monetary reforms and the overall economic environment in Iraq. The Iraqi Parliamentary Finance Committee has recently expressed optimism about the potential for budgetary improvements in the year 2024. Committee member Mim al Kazimi discussed the budget tables that were submitted by the government two months ago and highlighted that there was an agreement on these tables within the Finance Committee. However, discrepancies between the government's version of the budget and the tables presented to the House of Representatives have caused some confusion. The Parliament has responded by insisting that the government adhere to the original budget tables, which amount to 21 trillion in Rs. Al Kazimi noted that there were significant changes in the budget, particularly an increase in funding for the Ministry of Trade by 5 trillion dinars to boost food security. This adjustment was intended to address pressing needs but has also been a point of contention. The Finance Committee decided to form an investigation committee to uncover the reasons behind these discrepancies and to ensure financial integrity. However, the Parliament Presidency objected to this move, arguing that it was outside the committee's jurisdiction. Despite these obstacles, Al Kazimi stressed the importance of continuing the investigation to uncover any potential tampering with the budget limits. The investigation so far has not yielded any concrete accusations against representatives or revealed any financial harm resulting from the discrepancies. Nonetheless, the situation underscores the ongoing challenges Iraq faces as it navigates its path towards economic stability and reform amidst internal and external pressures.